Okay, let's go ahead and talk about how we can apply what we know about HTML and CSS code into WordPress. The first thing to know is that HTML and CSS are different things. HTML is the infrastructure or structure of your page. It oftentimes divides up the page into blocks and boxes. CSS is the styling document or the way that those boxes and text and different things on your page appear. Now the advantage of running with CSS is that you can separate the style from the actual web page itself. So some of the most common HTML tags are H1 or header tags. Um, and the way they are oftentimes uh, written in terms of code, of course, is that we have an opening and simply an H1 a closing, and then we put in uh, words in between, and then we close it, noticing that the closing is that forward slash, and we end with the very same tag. Now, <clears throat> if I were to put this into a browser in this fashion right here, it would give me the biggest heading uh, designation for that particular font. Now I happen to be working in Microsoft Word right now. That's not normally where I would work. I'm working here mainly because I can zoom in and you can get a clearer picture. So the concept here is is that these HTML tags form like little sandwiches. They always start the front end and they end in the back end the same exact tag. The difference is this forward slash. It will um, signify that the tag is closing. So it's pretty useful to start recognizing that tags open and close and when that applies. However, let me jump over here into WordPress and talk to the idea of how to apply uh, WordPress content uh, or excuse me, HTML content within WordPress. Now, the very first thing that I can see here is this is um, I have a, a series of basic real simple sentences here and I'm going to suggest that you pause this video and then go type these into your HTML exercise one page because you will want these in there and in place. So go ahead and do that now and I will see you in a second. Okay, the reason why I had you go type this up into your own is because it is super simple within WordPress to apply HTML tags, or at least the basic HTML tags. The first thing I want to take a look at here is this. This is the simple toolbar here. And if I come over here to <clears throat> this particular icon, I can click on it and get an expanded toolbar that gives me a couple different um, options here. By the way, just as a general rule, this underline feature, don't use it. Um, there's still a lot of websites that use underlines as a signal to your audience that that's a hyperlink. So you really shouldn't use underline as a mechanism for emphasis. If you want to emphasize something, you should um, change its text color um, and, and do that kind of thing. And I'll be showing you a little bit later on how to um, uh, change uh, fonts and stuff like that. So how do I apply a, an HTML tag? Even before I get into that, let me just take you on a side trip here. Super important. If I take a look over here in this side of my editor, I see that there is a visual and I see that there's a text area. Now the text area right now looks pretty darn close to the visual, but here's the deal. The text area is where I would enter true HTML code. Noticing up here that I've got uh, options for different kinds of code, list items, open list, unordered list. I have um, a variety of um, you know block quotes, bold, italic, links. These are all quick handy little options to insert raw HTML code should you want to here. But let me pop back over to my visual and let me go ahead and highlight this. Now to apply a paragraph HTML tag within WordPress, I'm going to just simply click on paragraph. 
This one's defaulted to paragraph, so that's pretty easy. But I'm going to go on to the next one and click on this is an H1 tag, and I'm going to click on here and come down to Heading 1. Notice that it is the largest of the tags. I'm going to highlight the H2 and come down to H2. And I want you to create your own HTML exercise one page, doing the very same thing, highlighting the text and then selecting which HTML tag you want to use it with. Now, the reason why you want to use or leverage these particular types of tags, these H1 tags, is that it's helpful when you go to stylize your documents across your site. Let me pull in for you our instructional site. And here in the instructional site, I can see that I've got a larger font here, a larger font here, a larger font here. And I try to be consistent with the way I <clears throat> lay these titles out. So now let me pull the editor for that particular site into our area here. And if I highlight this, notice that I've got that sitting at H2 or heading 2. Now I probably should be consistent and I realize I'm not. So let me go ahead and put all of these into H2. And if I decide, of course, that I don't really like those being in as H2s, I certainly can go through and change them. I'm going to quickly update that. And what that has done is just reset all of my um, titles to be uh, the same size. Now I'm going to reload the page really quickly. Okay. Now the reason why I went ahead and did all H2s on this page is because even before when I had a mixture of H2 and H3, I didn't see a radical change. And I think that that's just because of the base font. So not a big deal in terms of, of um, seeing that there's a radical change here. However, it does become important later on um, to know that you can manipulate those H tags and manipulate the fonts to a degree within WordPress. So it's very helpful to be consistent. So that's the end of this little assignment. You should be setting up, <clears throat> excuse me, you should be setting up, let me find it. I know it's here. Okay, never mind. Um, you should be setting up your HTML exercise one page. That's the one that starts out with this is a paragraph, this is an H1, this is an H2. There's a sample of it on your weekly uh, assignment list. Um, go do that now. Talk to you in a minute.